There we go. Hello boys and girls. Welcome to another raffle for Vinyl Countdown. This is a quick little one for Interpol. Turn on the bright lights, which I could do with actually. I've just lost the bulb, but there you go. That's why the screen's a bit dark. We have got seven people playing on 15 spots. Um, Shane on four. Sam, Dylan, Christos, David and Ross all on two apiece. And Gary on one. I use bingo balls. They're all in the cage. Uh, let's get that nicely lined up. Uh, sorry, that's about right, I think. It's more important to see the contraption than it is to see the top of my head. Right, um, all the balls are in there. They've already been pre-mixed. The reason they've been pre-mixed is um, this thing often spits out balls randomly. If a ball is spat out during the mixing process, that ball will be considered drawn and we move on. Rightio, let's get my mix on camera. Lovely, uh, all behaved admirably. Uh, straight run through to the end. I'm going to do this one quite quickly. The uh, Grand Prix just finished and I am. Um, we've got a takeaway on the way. Sweet. Right, anyway. Off we go. Best of luck, guys. Number 10. Dylan. Thirteen, Sam. Number two, Christos. Twelve, Gary. Gary, sorry fella, you only had the one spot, so uh, we lose you there. Thanks for playing, unlucky. It's an awkward one. When you play with the low spots, obviously your chances of winning are a lot less. But you don't lose as much. It's a difficult one to balance. Number one. Sam. That's your second of two fella, so I'm afraid we lose you there. Yeah, when I first started playing, I used to go in hard and heavy. Um, I used to try and make my odds 5 to 1 or better. Um, and that was really successful. I won most of my raffles like that. But then, obviously, I was spending a lot. So I dropped off and started doing single hitters. Now I tend to do three spots in every raffle. Number four, because I'm a superstitious old sod. Anyway, this is supposed to be a quick one. So I'm raffling on. Uh, waffling on rather. Let's just rattle through this. Number eight, Shane. That's a double for Shane. Sorry fella. Fourteen, David. My favourite number, number three. Belongs to Ross today. Came in at the end and closed us out. Oh, that one tried to escape. I don't know if you can still see it. There you go. See what I mean about it? Sometimes spits ones out randomly. Number 11. Shane. Uh, one, two, three, four, five balls left. One, two, three, four, five people left. That's, uh, everyone's got one spot left. Sudden death. Um, Five-way shootout. Every ball now will be an elimination. Best of luck. Number six, Christos, unlucky fella, thanks for playing. Dylan, unlucky fella, thanks for playing. It's down to Shane, who had the most spots, um, and Ross, who came in at the end and closed us out. Uh, 
when you get down to the last couple of balls, it can take a while for one to land in the cup. There we go. We have got one. Our runner-up is number 15. That's Shane. Unlucky Shane. Um, the extra couple of spots didn't quite pay off. So, it looks like uh, Kevin, our fearless leader, has a theory that the last person to come in or the last person to pay is often our winner. I think that's absolute tosh. And as human beings, we look for patterns in things that aren't necessarily there. Uh, but it has turned out to be true on this one because our last ball is ball number seven. Nothing left in the container. That concludes the draw. Ball number seven is indeed Ross Weatherby, and he was indeed the last person to pick up spots. So, on this particular raffle, Kevin is right. Uh, congratulations, Ross. PM me your details, and I shall get that in the post to you, hopefully tomorrow. I see no reason why it wouldn't be. But, never promise anything. Anyway, congrats all. See you guys on the next one, and um, thanks everyone for playing. Cheers, now.